It's a day that we have been waiting for. God has been mightily good to us. We give God thanks for the sunshine today. Is that amen? amen? We give God thanks for the beautiful day. Is that amen? amen. Glory to God. God is amazing. Glory to God. Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis is the founder and overseer of the Power Faith Ministries International, which he founded with his wife, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, in 1983. The ministry, which began in humble beginnings in Waterford, St. Catherine, has over the years experienced rapid and sustained growth. It now has branch churches spanning Jamaica, the United States of America, and Canada. And the Headquarters Church, which is located in Portmore, St. Catherine, is one of the largest congregations in the Caribbean with a membership of over 7,000. Team members, we're yes. here to celebrate. Amen. Is that amen? Amen. 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 amen? amen. Bless you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we gather 
ingratitude. We honor our beloved spiritual founders for 41 years of unwavering dedication and service to God's work. Is that amen? Amen. Glory to God. Two lives that truly embody love in action, setting a standard of excellence for all of us to emulate. All of us. All of us. Oh. Glory to God. Bishop and First Lady, your family life is a testament to the beauty of unity and strength, a foundation upon which the power of a ministry is built. Through your marriage, you have shown us our love, respect, and steadfast commitment can be a wellspring of strength and inspiration for families everywhere. Is that amen? Amen. amen? We are so blessed to see the joy and dedication you both share creating an enduring legacy of love that resonates throughout this, this church, church community, community and beyond. Yeah. Glory to God. I am so excited to be celebrating with our spiritual leaders, God's choice servant, our presiding bishop and apostle, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, and First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. Over these four decades, you both have shown what it means to serve with humility and grace. The prayer department is the engine room of the ministry. And this ministry was built on prayer. That's where we are here to honor and to laud our leaders. Wishing both of you a blessed anniversary. Amen. Filled with love, yes. joy, and peace. Yes. May Amen. God continue to bless mm -hmm. and to guide yes. your ministry and your marriage. Yes. Happy 46th anniversary to Bishop Dr. Delpho Davis and Dr. Petrova Davis. Davis. Your unwavering faith, dedication, commitment, and love for each other is a true inspiration to yes, all, of us. all of us. And we are reminded by the words of James 1 17, every good and perfect gift comes from God. I am one of the members from the inception of the Power of Faith Ministries. And I am excited and elated to speak about our leaders as they celebrate 46 years in marriage and 41 years in ministry. I can say assuredly from my heart that Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Petrova Davis are sent from God, anointed, appointed, and commissioned by God for this work. You are exemplary in all that you do, and may God bless and keep both of you. And as we look forward to the future, we know that we have great expectations to see what God will do in this ministry. I do love and appreciate you. Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Minister Dr. Petrova Davis and family. We are grateful that our church truly feels like a family. You have shown that you really care for us. Thank you for modeling sacrificial and sincere love by the way you serve us every day. Thank you for being a shepherd to the flock and a guiding light in our lives. Your dedication to the Lord's work touches our heart and soul daily. For your guidance, wisdom, and unwavering faith, we are forever grateful. You are a blessing to this church, and we thank God for you. In John 6, he says, I am the living bread, bread to the hungry, water to the thirsty, friend to the friendless, 
Father to the fatherless. Mother to the motherless. Savior to the sinner. In addition to enjoying your sermons from the pulpit, we appreciate the sermon that you live out right before our eyes. Your example serves to inspire us to live our lives before our fellow men in a manner that would please God. I've learned that the word of God, hallelujah, has supernatural power when you couple the word with faith. It is with great joy that we, as a congregation, set aside this special evening to honor you, your wife, Minister Dr. P. Davis, and family, and to express our appreciation to you and to your labor of love. 41 years. Wow. Can you imagine? 41 years yes, yes. of life dedicated to evangelism. Apostle Dr. Delpha Davis and Dr. Petrova Davis, your life, your dedication, your commitment, your compassion, and more so, your passion for evangelism is phenomenal. You have left everything to follow the Lord Jesus Christ and to become a truly, truly fisher of me. From Campbell's Boulevard. Yes. To Waltham Park Road. Mm. Manchester. Mm. Flushing, New York. Wow. And then My Waterford, God. the launching pad to greater work. Wow. Alongside a committed, anointed woman of God. Yes. Establishing seven churches in Jamaica. And seven overseas. Oh my God. Oh God. That's 14 churches. Look what the Lord has, has done. done. Wow, wow. Life's worth honoring. May I just declare that those who seek to try and curse you, that the curses from God be upon them. The Lord bless you, man of God. The Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you. Holy. Bishop and Minister Davis, your words fuel our faith, calling us higher and reminding us that in Christ, we are capable of great transformation. Minister Davis and Bishop, glory to God. Your nurturing presence uplifts our spirits, reminding us to embrace the journey. Together, you have shepherded us with love. And through countless sermons, prayers, and moments of encouragement, you have equipped us to walk boldly in the path that God has set, set before, before us. us. Glory to God. With a deep commitment to spiritual education, you have planted seeds of wisdom that flourish in our lives daily. Your teachings Jesus. provide us not only with knowledge, but with understanding, yes. imparting a practical spirituality that guides us in every aspect of life. True. Through Bible studies, mm -hmm. Bible Word Institute, mm -hmm. teachings, and personal examples, you have opened our hearts and minds, instilling in us a hunger for God's truth and a passion for continuous learning. Glory. Your influence has truly enriched our lives, empowering us to stand firm in faith and, and grow, grow in, in grace. grace. Amen. 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 Glory to God. The complete development of each person within this ministry has always been the heart 
of your service. Jesus. Bishop and First Lady, you have nurtured not only our spiritual lives, but also our minds, our relationships, and our purpose. purpose. Amen. In you, we see mentors who desire to see us prosper in all areas, from our health to our careers, from our families to our finances. You have equipped us with wisdom for every, every stage, stage of life every stage. in doing so you have raised a congregation that's stronger wiser, wiser and deeply, deeply rooted, rooted in, in christ. christ amen glory judges chapter 4 and the verse 4 says deborah was a prophetess she was the wife of Lapidot, and she led the children of Israel during that time. Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, we declare you a prophetess just like Deborah. You continue to stand with our pastor, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, to lead this great ministry. We give God thanks for the leadership that you have continued to provide. Bishop Davis and Minister Davis, your commitment and love for the Lord, for each other, for your family and the people of God the world over has been an excellent template for others to copy to achieve the successes that you have both attained. Thank you for being this wonderful power couple that you are. Continue to let your brilliant light shine for the glory of God. We love and appreciate you. Happy, happy anniversary. The role of a pastor's wife is unique. It's not for the anxious or timid. Minister Davis, you have been faithful, stood by our bishop with love, support, encouragement, and faith, demonstrating true devotion to him and the work that he has been called to do. Bishop Davis, your passion for God is contagious. Your enthusiasm for spreading the gospel ignites a fire in our hearts and inspires us to live our lives according to the word of God. We celebrate you both, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis and Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, as you have enabled us to empower women to live victorious lives as you continue to wow us with your commitment to the women of the kingdom. We, the women, want you to know we love and appreciate you both. The heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, they were tiling upward through the night. 41 years and oh, counting, yeah. not a easy journey. But to God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Dr. Pichova Davis, we honor you both and we salute you both. And we want you to know that you're a true example. You're a true role model loyalty integrity and you have demonstrated such humility so we admire you mom and sir and we thank you for your dedication and your commitment and your service that you have offered to the lord and because of such sacrifice look on the many lives that have been touched across the world we want you to know that your labor, sir, is not in vain. Your labor, ma'am, is not in vain. And so we appreciate you, sir and ma'am, on this 41 years and counting. And you speak of 41 years of ministry. What about 46 years of marriage? You're a blessed man, Bishop. The Lord said that he that find it a good a wife, find it a good thing. And you have truly receive a special gem out of the rock my my bishop lord the lord bless you we know that without an excellent marriage your life would be in turmoil so we thank you for just sharing your family with you, with us we thank you for just being an example for those who seek to join together and be one 
we really and truly appreciate the ministry of the word and the ministry that you live exemplary by your father. We love you from all the men that stands in this place. We know that you truly is a man of God because you stick in thick and thin for, with your wife, your family, and your church. Continue to do the great work you continue to do, and we will celebrate your leadership in both spirit and in the word and in truth. God bless you, Bishop. And as Matthew 24, 4 and 5 says, Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has put in charge of his household to give the others in the house their food and the supplies at the proper time? And in Jeremiah 3.15 we find, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with the knowledge and understanding. And indeed, the Lord has given us two such persons in Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis, who have heeded the call of the Lord in the mission and the ministry, wishes to express our profound and deepest appreciation for all the sacrifices you have made on our behalf over the years. We truly love and honor you. We love, love you, you from, from the, the heart. heart. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Word of God declares in Romans 13, 6 through 7, For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. On behalf of the entire St. Petersburg Assembly, we want to appreciate Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and our International First Lady, Minister Petrova Davis, for 41 years of labor and love. You truly deserve to be honored for all your accomplishments and for extending Christ to so many. We're glad to be a part of it. We love and appreciate you. This is Pastor Hope Edwards from the St. Petersburg Assembly and my dear lovely wife, Sister Keisha Edwards. We just wanna celebrate with you once more for 41 years. We love, truly love, and appreciate you both. God bless you. We love you. Mwah. Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis, founders of the Power of Faith Ministries International, and a tribute from the Brooklyn Assembly of the Power of Faith Ministries International. Honoring lives worthy of emulation. It is a profound honor and distinct privilege to pay tribute to our founders, Presiding Bishop Apostle Dr. Delford Davis and First Lady Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis. On behalf of my wife, Evangelist Althea Lelo, Assistant Pastor Reverend Sharon Craig Lawrence, our elders, our ministers, all the officers and members of the Brooklyn Assembly, today we appreciate and celebrate these visionaries for their transformational leadership, their hard work and dedication, sacrifice, courage, unwavering commitment, integrity and faith over these 41 years of building the Power of Faith Ministries International from a little brown tent in Waterford to over 13 congregations across Jamaica and throughout North America. In addition to the 5,000 members within our congregations, Hundreds of thousands of lives are impacted on a weekly basis through our various social media platforms as well as our local television cable networks. Bishop Davis and Minister Davis, your work and ministry transcend denominational and geographical boundaries. You are a pastor of pastors, a bishop of bishops. Having been a part of this ministry for 39 of the 41 years of its existence, I can recall Bishop Davis's office being a tree beside the brown tent in Waterford. I was there. I can recall Bishop, then Pastor Davis, 
coming next door to my house in Waterford to get the church's equipment repaired by Mr. Williams, the electronics technician. I can also recall sitting in one of the first meetings with the owners of JAX, that is Jamaica Amalgamated Cable Services, in preparation for the launch of what has become the PFM Family TV. Over 40 years later, our founders still declare, like Caleb, we are well able to overcome. Today, as we honor our founders, we give God thanks for the anointing on their lives. It is this anointing that has preserved them and empowered them in spite of the many challenges. Here we are as beneficiaries of your vision and perseverance. See what the Lord has done. Bishop Davis and Minister Davis, the Brooklyn Assembly of the Power of Faith Ministry International salute you. We love you. We need you, and we appreciate you. God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Happy Founders Appreciation Day. Amen, amen, amen. Our profound appreciation to Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Petrova Davis, our founders, from the Faith and Power International Ministry family. We wish to appreciate you and tell you thanks for the years of service and for the encouragement and the steadfast leadership that you have given to the entire body and in particular to the or branch church Faith and Point National Ministry situated in Toronto, Canada. On behalf of the entire Four Faith family and of course in particular Faith and Point National Ministry as your dear pastor Reverend Forrester and Minister Forrester we wish that this appreciation is just the beginning of great things that you will do for the Lord and the rest of your service. God bless you. To our esteemed founders and beloved leaders, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. Today, we stand together as a family, gathered in unity and love, to honor two remarkable shepherds who have not only paved the way for this ministry, but have also walked with us along this journey exemplifying the very heart of Christ. From our hearts to yours, we say thank you. Thank you and God bless you abundantly. We love you. We need you. And we appreciate you. Let me greet the officiating ministers, all the guests, and especially Bishop Apostle Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis for the honorees this evening. I greet them and greet their families, well wishers, members of the Power of Faith Ministry International. I am thankful to God that the Power of Faith Ministry International has purposefully and passionately considered the honoring of Bishop Apostle Dr. Delpha Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. I apologize for my absence. It is due to a previous commitment with a small congregation within the Church of God in Jamaica that is celebrating their 100th anniversary. It is not often that you find the well-needed balance of the pastoral identity seen in the scripture as servant, steward, and herald. In the ministry of Apostle Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, all these are woven together 
to bring honor and glory to God. Looking at their ministry, there is a compassionate and considerate heart and spirit towards the care and service to the household of faith, just as a servant. There is a profound sense of ownership and authority as good trustees and custodians of the mysteries concerning the good news and saving work of Jesus, just as a steward. And there is an unapologetically and courageous commitment to the proclamation of the good news of Christ as the only way of salvation. That's the role of the herald. It is this balance between the internal and the external application of the gospel that made Bishop Davis a distinct and often disturbing voice in calling for holy, righteous, and obedient living in the kingdom, while at the same time calling for moral, just, and upright living in the society, and especially to come to salvation that is made available in Christ. The Jamaica Umbrella Groups of Churches commends you for your dedicated service over the years on the national level through the Jamaica Association of Full Gospel Churches and the Jamaica Umbrella Groups of Churches, particularly in key leadership roles. As founder and pioneer of the National Day of Prayer, Heal the Family, Heal the Nation, Bishop and Minister Davis, you are birthed in the spirit a ministry of prayer for which the Jamaica Umbrella Groups of Churches is eternally grateful to be partners in this sacred and powerful national engagement held at the beginning of the year. Your ministry together is not only a blessing to the church, but Jamaica is proud that a couple from our soil has been remarkable in their role as ambassadors for Christ. You have pleased the Lord, and in doing so, you have made us proud. On this, the 41st anniversary of service to the PFMI, the Jamaica Umbrella Groups of Churches, and I must add at this point, the Church of God in Jamaica, salute you and encourage you in this mission for the Lord to be faithful and may he give you strength, wisdom and greater peace as you represent him. God bless you. A pleasant good day to everyone. I read the book of Psalm over and over. But when it comes on to this man of God, it fits the kind of man that I've seen in Bishop Davis because I have examined him and have been watching him over 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, hear what the psalm says. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the ways of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scorn. Hear what happened to a man who fits this kind of qualification. This man shall be like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in the season. His leaves shall not wither and whatsoever 
he doeth shall prosper. Now, because I've examined this man of God over 40 years, I have sensed that God was speaking directly to him. Man is not scorned. Man of God walks in integrity. The man of God serves God with his own. May the blessings of God rest upon you. May God shine his light perpetually upon you. I'm overseas, but I'm thinking of you, sir that you have laid some indelible mark on my life. You taught me as my Sunday school teacher. You taught me as my men's leader. I watch you, sir, as you grow and blossom and bloom. Now, sir, enjoy the rest of your life because your life pleases In 77, it was a glorious year because 1977 I actually entered upon full time ministry, uh, which took me from the Evangelistic Center headquarters in Kingston to Portmore St. Catherine. And it was there in the Nogglehead tent meeting where. I saw this beautiful lady for the first time in my life. And at that point, I never knew that I would become her pastor, much more to become her husband. But believe me, although I was such a spiritual man, when I saw her, the spirit laid to rest. And some of me said, there she goes. Love at First Sight, 1977. To God be the glory, great things he has done and continues to do. Today it is my pleasure and privilege to congratulate our Bishop, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis for their contribution and their hard work in the ministry. Over four decades, they have been laboring at the PFMI International. And this is testament that they are faithful shepherds, and to God be the glory. Sir and ma'am, we want to thank you for your service. We want to thank you for committing your lives to God and for serving us the way, the way you have done. Let me also say on behalf of the Marriage Enrichment Family Ministry, President Minister Michael Smith and Vice President Nicholas Peterkin and Minister Thorpe, that you have also led exemplary in marriage over four decades in ministry and over four decades in marriage. To God be the glory. Truly, you have shown us that with God in the center of a relationship that both man and woman can achieve the goals and achieve what God has have, have, have in store for them. Today, we celebrate you. I want to thank you that you have led with passion and dedication and as a, as a result, God has done it for you. We want to thank you for your service and truly you have set the bar really high for those of us to follow. And we thank God for you and our prayers for you is that you continue to serve with dignity, serve with pride and that indeed you continue to be faithful in the kingdom and here, well done, thou good and faithful servant. God bless you. Greetings to you, my bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and your wife, Minister Dr. Pechova Davis. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. On behalf of our youth department, I just want to honor you for 
46 years of marriage and 41 years of leading this great ministry. Your unwavering commitment to God has been an example to all of us, and we give God thanks for you. Bless you. Your love for children's ministry is unparalleled, bringing light and joy in the youngest members of our congregation. You both know that a child's heart is present in God's eyes, and you have dedicated yourself to fostering environments where children can encounter God, learn His truth, and grow in His love. Through creative programs, engaging teaching, and a special affection for each young soul, you have set a foundation for a generation that knows and loves God deeply. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In a word that sometimes seems harsh, you remind us of the beauty of fun and creativity. Bishop and First Lady, <laughs> you have shown us that laughter and joy on, are gifts from God. God. Yes. And you led by example, mm, encouraging true. us to live fully and freely. Mm -hmm. Whether it's through church events, yes. celebrations, Come on. or simply just the joy you exude, you bring us together in fellowship reminding us that as we walk, walk with, with God, God, we can enjoy each moment with a grateful heart and a spirit of celebration. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Through your unwavering dedication and to outreach and social ministry, you have modeled the hands and feet of Christ in action. Bishop, you are a visionary, visionary and a forward thinker. Is that so? And Amen. alongside First Lady, you have created strategic programs and Amen. initiatives that have touched lives far beyond the church walls. Amen. That's true. Jesus. Your compassion has reached those in need, reminding us that true faith is active, mm -hmm. practical, and sacrificial. Mm -hmm. You have shown us that it what it means to live what we preach. Yes. Calling us to courageously share God's love in our communities and, and beyond. beyond. All over. Amen. Yeah. Jesus. Ladies, mm -hmm. our theme for this appreciation function, mm -hmm. honoring, honoring life, lies worthy, worthy of, of emulation, emulation with love from, from the, the heart. heart. That resonates with every one of us. It reminds us why we are gathered to recognize and celebrate lives that have inspired us, mm -hmm. guided us, and shown us what it truly means to live with faith, integrity, integrity. and, and love. love. Hey. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are not here just to say thank you, but to show how deeply we appreciate Come on, you, yes. ma'am. Because in a world that often pull us in so many directions, mm -hmm. it's those steadfast yes. examples of strength, strength, kindness, and leadership that draws us back to what really, really matters. matters. Amen. So, Jesus, with, with every word, every gesture, every song, and every prayer today, we love you, Bishop, Minister Davis and your family from our hearts to yours.